What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Crisis Core Reunion. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute best and fastest way to hit level 99. Now, despite what some people might think, there is an EXP counter in the game. And in fact, Crisis Core Reunion actually tells you that as well in one of these tutorials. It's just a hidden counter. So, obviously, levels are based on landing on the DMW. However, we can actually speed that up exponentially by massively inflating our EXP. Now, in order to do this, there are going to be a few things you first need. Firstly, you need to be at least at chapter 3. So, yes, this method is actually available extraordinarily early. The best farming spot is available early. So, once you're at chapter 3, go through the missions and get a bunch of equipment. There is also a few things we need. Firstly, we need Blast Wave, okay? This is going to be our killing ability. It's not a strong attack, however, it does eject enemies from battle. So it's almost like an insta-death attack, except it bypasses death immunity. Second, we are going to need Status Ward, as high level as possible. And we'll also need a Hal Blizziger, Fireiger, or Thundiger. The main reason for that is... Uh, the Hell Spells actually have Poison, Silence, Stun, Stop, and Death on them as a secondary effect. So with a Mastered Status Ward, as long as we have Hell, uh, a Hell Spell equipped, that makes us immune to those effects as well. And the enemies that we're going to be fighting do actually inflict said statuses. Other than that, you want to have as much HP as possible just because it helps with general survivability. As for equipment, that doesn't actually matter too much. The main thing we need here is the wizard bracelet because that basically makes us immune to the vast majority of the particular mob that we are going to fight. It makes us immune to the vast majority of their attacks. What I would suggest is if you are doing this in Chapter 3, use the Mog's Amulet for your second equipment slot, simply due to the fact then it means you can also farm some absolutely amazing drops as well. If you're doing this later on in, say, Chapter 4+, plus, when you can actually have your extra accessory slots, that's when I would also throw on the Jeweled Ring, which doubles enemy drops to speed up farming for the items, and also the Twisted Headband to keep Endure active just so you don't get interrupted or anything like that. However, these other materia right here, they're pretty useless, to be fair. Like, the only materia you really need are these three. Okay, with that... How do we get to level 99 in literally less than an hour? Well, first and foremost, you are going to need to have mission 8, 6, 4 unlocked. Okay, now you can get this from chapter 3. I believe the chain actually starts once you get to the Mocha reactor. So again, just go through there, get to the, uh, get to the Mocha reactor, and you can start this mission, which is sort of towards the end of chapter 3. Once in the mission... Skip a cutscene if you want. I'm just going to because I've already seen it a million times over. And then it's really, really simple. We're actually just going to run between this area here. And we actually got the enemy that we wanted. Sweet. So we're just going to use Blast Wave to quickly kill him off. We're just going to run between this area and this area. Okay, we didn't get a battle there that time, which is kind of weird, but that's fine. So we're just going to try that again and hopefully we'll get one. There we go. So we did not get the uh, the scissors this time, unfortunately. So we are just going to flee. I did get hit though, so I'm going to use a potion to heal. Griffin, still no scissor. Okay, we're just going to flee again. All we want to do in this method is fight the scissors, okay? They die extremely quickly because of Blast Wave. And each time we kill one of them, we get 11,000 EXP. That means in less than an hour, we have enough EXP earned by farming these to cap our levels. All we need to do then is just wait for the DMW to actually spin for us. One of the things I will say though, is please be careful of using the DMW to level early on. There are a few tricks you can do by rigging the DMW with this method. Because obviously, with us getting so much EXP right now, the game basically decides, wait, you have way too much EXP, you need to level up. 
And so because of that, it will actually force out uh, actual DMW procs. And because of that, we can abuse that fact for farming uh, with the Moogle and also with Magic Pot. So again, make sure you look into those two methods first to make sure that you don't just want to hit level 99 as soon as possible and potentially ruin some very good farming methods later. But again, that one is entirely up to you. This video is simply about the best method for doing so. And as you can see, all I'm doing right now is running back and forth. We're murdering the scissors, and that is literally it. Every scissor kill, we get 11,000 EXP. And of course, we also get crystal bangles. The reason we want the crystal bangles is to sell them. They each sell for 7,500 gil, and since the maneuver method was patched in Reunion, it unfortunately means you don't have access to half a million gil every minute or so, which really, really sucks, unfortunately. But yes, guys, that is the best way of farming EXP in Crisis Core Reunion, and that's going to do it for this video. So look, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope it's helped. If it has, then please be sure to smash that like button and of course drop a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more Crisis Core Reunion guides. As always though everybody, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.